Dear leader, John Stilhazen speaking to Tolim Gambi earlier today. Well, ESCOM says it will reach a key milestone in the steam generator replacement project at the Kuburg nuclear power station in Cape Town. Last month, Unit 1 was shut down for planned maintenance as well as refueling. Let's go live now there to our reporter, Atim Tongana. Ati, tell us more about what exactly is happening there at the moment. Well, what we know, Tembegile, is that the reactor at the nuclear power station in Kuburg has been shut down and they have removed the fuel from the reactor. We know that three steam generators will be replaced. That's part of uh, the maintenance plan that uh, ESKIM is embarking on for uh, the next couple of months. So on the 10th of December, ESKIM had planned to shut down Unit 1 at Kuburg nuclear power station for refueling and maintenance and that is currently underway and energy experts have actually welcomed this move by ESCOM because this is much needed given the fact that they are looking at wanting to renew the operating license at the nuclear power station so of course to meet those requirements they would have to then make sure that they do revamp the power plant which is one of the most reliable and actually this particular outage at unit one has has resulted in, of course, ESKIM's limited capacity of generating electricity and, and then in turn, of course, limiting uh, the uh, reach for uh, ESKIM and the demand to be able to supply uh, electricity for uh, the national grid. But as I said, energy experts have really welcomed this move. On the other hand, we have ESKIM saying that they are on track to actually finish up the uh, revamping work at the nuclear power station by the first week of June and hopefully they will then move to another unit which would approximately take at uh, the same time about six months to also work on the revamping and the upgrading of other units there at uh, the uh, nuclear power station. So actually while all of this is going on there's a lot of focus even in Cape Town where you are based a, a lot of pressure on the various municipalities as well in Cape Town where they had previously been able to offer a layer of protection against load shedding, but now it's starting to bite. It's proving very difficult and it is starting to bite because the higher the stage of load shedding, uh, the more it applies pressure then on uh, those who are supplied by the city of Cape Town's municipality in terms of electricity because those customers then do not get cushioned as they would if ESCOM would, for example, implement a lower stage of load shedding. The pressure becomes extremely high, the demand becomes extremely high and therefore they are not able to cushion the customers for the city of Cape Town because remember, there are those customers here in Cape Town who are supplied uh, by ESCOM directly and there are those who are, applied, uh, who are supplied by the city. And so the city of Cape Town says if ESCOM continues with these high levels of load shedding, then it means they can no longer be able uh, to alleviate the pressure from their system in order to implement a lower stage for those who are supplied by the city of Cape Town already the outage of unit one at Kubik a power station pulls away over 900 megawatts from the national grid which amounts to stage one load shedding so it is very uh, critical for this particular upgrade to get underway as per schedule so that it can go back up uh, by early June so that that pressure uh, that ESCOM is currently feeling at the national grid is alleviated but of course we know that um, ESCOM has today announced that it's uh, moving from stage six to a lower stage but this up and down as well is also posing such a huge risk to uh, even the water supply at many municipalities not only in the Western Cape but if you look at the outer skirts even the Eastern Cape really struggles when it comes to uh, load shedding and when it comes to their uh, supply mm -hmm. for water as well in general. Atim Tongana, thank you very much for that. Not too far from the Kuburg nuclear station in the Western Cape.